bills by Arizona senators and House members would allow a select group of hunters into the national park where hunting is currently banned. And well, this happens to be a new solution to an old problem that Cronkite News has been following for years. Let us now take you back to January 2012 when then Cronkite reporter Ryan Harrer brought us the story from the Grand Canyon. It's a spectacular sight. I never can imagine what it might look like until you really see it. Which is why 5 million tourists come and visit the Grand Canyon every year. This is my first time here and I, it's just breathtaking. But recently, the National Park gained some visitors that aren't so welcome. A growing population of buffalo, causing some huge problems. So the area didn't evolve with that type of grazing animal on it. So there are quite a few um, concerns around potential to impact water resources, vegetation. To understand the history, you have to go back to the early 1900s when Arizona's Game and Fish Department brought in several of the buffalo for recreational hunting just outside the north rim of the Grand Canyon. Since 1906, we've had a bison herd on the uh, North Kaibab. But in the last 10 years, they've started going more and more onto Grand Canyon National Park, and the park doesn't want them on their property. One of the reasons they don't want them, they can't be controlled. Because of rules, they can't be hunted. So the numbers are soaring. Here at the Raymond Wildlife Center, southeast of Flagstaff, hunters come in on a regular basis and take down buffalo, keeping the population in check. But here at the Grand Canyon National Park, hunting is illegal, allowing the bison herd to grow and eat everything in sight. And they eat a lot, 35 pounds of food a day. And that's a huge environmental threat. We have some very special plant species that occupy those habitats. And if it becomes denuded, we may lose those species. We've tried to, to haze them off the park. We've tried to capture them on the park. But nothing seems to be working as the herd is now estimated to be 400 strong. The best option for, for us, and it would take legislative change, is to hunt on the park during the closed season. But the National Park Service sees that as a last resort. We could look to getting special permission to do that, but as it stands, it's, it's really not a viable option. Leaving the buffalo with only one option, to continue grazing on one of the seven wonders of the world. From the Grand Canyon, Ryan Herrer, Cronkite News.